Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Saturday. We are here for another update on how my week has gone since I have transitioned from a ketogenic diet, which I have been doing for, I'm going to say a little over seven years, and to more of a higher protein anabolic diet and um, how my body is adjusting. So we're going to get into how this past week has went for me, um, things that I'm noticing, what I'm learning, and all of that good stuff. So let's get right into it. So I have been showing you my meals, and they have been wonderful and very satiating. Now, one thing I've noticed is that I'm not having the cravings. I think I've talked about this before and I touched on it. I'm not having cravings. When I was keto, every now and then I would get that craving and all of that stuff are like more like the head hunger. Well, I'm going to say cravings and head hunger. I'll just put it that way. I've noticed with this, I that so far, it's um, not happening. Um, and that's a good thing. I've still been keeping up on my water, getting my movement in. I have really dialed in on my sleep. So for me, um, my I have a kind of body where it needs a certain amount of sleep because if not, it will definitely show up on the scale. It doesn't matter if I've done everything perfectly, lack of sleep, broken sleep, it shows on the scale. And um, good quality sleep is a little hard for me right now because I have a um, older dog that obviously has to go out, you know, in the middle of the night and all that. And the problem with that for me, if I'm getting up, I get up too many times, get woken up out of a sleep. It's really difficult, very difficult for me to get back to sleep. And that used to be prior to menopause, I slept like a dead person. I could wake up, go to the bathroom, wake up, have a conversation with someone, go back to bed and be out in a matter of seconds. So that since menopause, I really hate that my sleep has just gone downhill. It takes a lot for me to get good sleep. So I will say, you know how most of your weight loss come from the kitchen. So I would say most of my weight loss come from is half kitchen, half sleep. If I don't get that sleep, it doesn't even matter about the kitchen part of it, you know? So um, been really working and dialing in on getting that good sleep and my movement and all of that. So it's it's been really good. Um, I am planning Okay, I've had my staple foods, as you guys have probably seen. And I think this week I will be adding in one thing. And you'll probably see it on my um, next week. And we will see how that goes with adding in one thing. And it won't be every week I add in something different. Because um, for me, I am a creature of habit. When I find stuff that I like, and it's good and it works for my body, I kind of roll with it for a long time. Because if you remember my my keto meal preps, they were all the same a whole lot of the times. About 90% of the time, it was just repeats. So, yeah, it will be one thing I'll probably add in and kind of just monitor from there. Uh, monitor what my weight looks like. Monitor my ketones and how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling sluggish and all of that, and how my body is going to react to it. And um, speaking of meal prepping, I did do a meal prep, and we are going to go right into the meal prep. Okay, here's my meal prep. I did some more of the cauliflower. This time it is the Indian curry style. Um, the bag looks like this from Sprouts. And I also made another cheese sauce this time. It is the cream cheese, the same kind of lactose free, but I couldn't find the lactose free shredded cheese. So I used some lactose free Cabot um, extra sharp white. 
And I also cooked up some organic basil and cracked black pepper sausage. And here's the packaging for it. And right here we have some ground lamb. Alrighty, so you saw what I've meal prepped. That's what I'm gonna be having for the week. And plus, like I said, I'll be adding in one extra thing and you will, you will see that. Um, my weight. So as you know, when I was on keto, the last, I don't think I talked about it a whole lot, but the last, I'm gonna say five to six months was just, this is just I could never break through um, with my weight so um, my weight has steadily been going like this um, I know there will be times where there will not be a weight loss there'll be a stall there could be a gain so this um, past week um, there was a small weight loss and I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I did my measurements and I am down almost an inch on my waist. So, um, I know things are going in the right direction. So we're going to go pivot, um, to the weigh-in. Alrighty, so you saw my weigh in. It was a loss of 0.4, and I'm fine with that, like I said, because I'm losing the inches, and that's perfectly fine for me. Um, so now it brings me to with these sit down. I've been so far, I've been doing these kind of like sit down little update videos on the weekend where normally uh, you would see me doing a meal prep. So I would like to know from you all. Is this a better style? Do you want to see the meal prep? Because in my head, a lot of times when I'm meal prepping something, it's so simple. I don't know if it's kind of like an insult to be like, well, everybody knows how to, you know, cook up ground beef or do all this other stuff. So you let me know what works really well for you guys as far as an update. Do you want to see me meal prep and then give a quick synopsis do you like to sit down me talking you through how my week has gone the ups the downs and all of that so just you know let me know um like i said it's this week was really well um my body is still adjusting i think when you come from a diet of super restriction and then you when you kind of just ease up um, and I think it takes the body time to acclimate just as it would if you're coming from a lifestyle of no restrictions and, to, and going into restricting some. So um, I will, you know, continue to take you guys on this journey. Um, so far, so good. Um, I don't think I have any other updates. Oh, one other update. The end of May, I will be traveling to Austin, Texas to KetoCon. So any of you guys out there in Texas, um, maybe we can do a meetup. I would love to meet up with you guys and see you and talk with you. Um, and probably, you know, they always given out a lot of samples at KetoCon and I would love to share them with you. So just let me know below if you are willing to do a meetup. So if um, you have the time in May. So with that being said, um, I don't really have too much of anything else to update you. I just want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And thank you so much just for all of your support and love um, just throughout my journey. Even, and while I'm doing going through this transition. So thank you guys so much. So I will be back next week um, with more videos.